Hey everybody, it's Dylan with Newborn Brothers. So uh, today I'm gonna to be doing a video on uh, the best thrust ratio to use. Now I've been doing this for a while, so I've used pretty much all the different styles of guns and different thrust ratios. And there really is no best thrust ratio. It depends on the temperature outside, the material you're using. Uh, for example, like this uh, copper elastic here. This is a thermoplastic sealant. It's a very uh, thick material. So you'd want to use like a higher thrust ratio. Like on this gun here, it's got the 24 to one. So when you have that set on, uh, you'll just, you'll be able to push more material out per trigger squeeze than you would if you had it on 12 to one, 18 to one, anything like that. Now for me, I do a lot of windows and doors and I use a lot of silicone, which isn't as uh, thick of a material as the uh, thermoplastic here. So with that, uh, my, my favorite thrust ratio for most, most times is 18 to one. I find that's a good happy medium. You get a lot of material per squeeze and uh, you can carry a nice bead along with that. Uh, when you're doing interior trim work, you know, with an acrylic caulking, it's a very thin material. So you can just use a 12 to one, which most uh, cartridge guns, that's their base setting. Like this one here, this one here is an 18 to one. But a lot of the guns at say your hardware store, like Home Depot and stuff, they'll be a 12 to one. I think there's even 10 to one. And you don't want too much material because you're just gonna wipe it away before you paint or whatever you're doing. So really there's no best thrust ratio. It really depends. Uh, another thing is temperature. So as you can see, there's snow on the ground here. So the caulking always gets a little bit uh, thicker, you know, in colder temperatures. So that's when you're gonna wanna use a higher thrust ratio as well, just to uh, lower the hand fatigue that you get and stuff like that. You know, when you're, you're doing like 20 windows, you know, your hand will get tired if you're trying to use a 12 to one and it's minus three outside. So that's when you'll use like an 18 to one or a 24 to one. Okay, so I'll give you an example here. First, I'll do a 12 to one. So I'm gonna load the, uh, the product in it. So today, this is a silicone product. So it's not uh, super thick, but it's not like an acrylic product either. So let's go over here and I'll show you. Okay, so this is the 12 to one. Okay, now I'm gonna show you uh, the same material with the uh, 720 AL dual thrust, and it's set on the 24 to one setting. So, get it started. And it's just so much easier to pull the trigger in these cold temperatures. The material just comes right out of there nice and easy. Release the trigger. Okay, so that's all today for uh, what the best thrust ratio is on your caulking gun. Pretty much there is no best thrust ratio. It's just whatever application you're you're using it for uh, if you have any questions you can comment below uh, if you want to look up the products you can follow the link check them out on the web page on all the products newborn offers again my name is dylan kettle with newborn brothers thanks for watching please follow